Everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm going to share with you my latest mini album created with Stamperia, and this is um, a new version or the latest version of um, Sir Vagabond, and it's the aviated version. So if you look in the material list or go to the description, the first thing you're going to see is the material list, and if you continue to scroll down, you'll see the cut list for these pages. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with an eight and a half by eight and a half by two and a half inch spine. There's also a link to that tutorial in the description below. So we're gonna start with that base and then we're gonna add the flaps and interactive elements that'll complete this album. So on the cover, um, in addition to utilizing the 12 by 12 and eight by eight packs, Stamperia now offers what they call background packs, which I, I love. Um, that's something that's been a core part of Graphic 45 for a long time, and now I'm starting to see other brands do the same thing. So on the cover, I've done some fussy cutting and matting. These are the wet, the, the wet, the wooden shapes. So these two elements are wooden shapes. This was part of one long propeller that I cut in half so I could utilize it like the arms on a clock. And then this is just fussy cut matted and then popped on the page. So let's go ahead and open it up and start looking at what's inside. So the first thing you're gonna see is very large, deep pocket. That's both on the front and back liner. So th this is ideal for your eight by 10, for your eight by eight, um, up to eight by eight photos. But of course you can do a collage of smaller photos if you want to. Here, and everything is held together with a magnet. Here I've got two flaps and an, or a flap and nice deep pocket with these inserts for photos. And then this is a cut apart journaling card. Uh, again, this is built um, on the eight and a half by eight and a half base album, which means everything is a pocket page. So there's a large insert for each one of the pages. Here, what I did, I was really inspired by this particular print and I followed the Brooklyn Bridge um, image and I cut around the bridge so you can see these beautiful swoops. So it's a simple, pocket, but the interest comes from the shape um, that I cut around. So it's a nice deep pocket. I've got some inserts in there and the insert cuts, um, cut list is also on the bottom in the description. Here I layered chipboard and wooden elements. So you're going to see both over here, some uh, chipboard elements here and here. This was just fussy cut and matted. Have this nice large photo mat that is suitable for a five by seven. And again, another large insert. These are two really simple cards. The size is based on the two cut apart elements that were in the collection. So not a lot of creative energy went into this page. I saved it all for this one. So the clock, what I decided to do, and if you're a Stamperia fan, you know they almost always have a clock in their collection. So what I decided to do was, it's an inlaid clock, is to create a layer for each one. So I have a small photo mat in here, and it's also a pocket, so you can take the insert out. Then there's another element, and then lastly it opens this way, and Sir Vagabond comes out. So that's what I decided to do with the clock. I like it. This is probably the most complex page in the album, um, but it's pretty straightforward in terms of cutting it. Um, getting it to lay down flat and adding your magnets is going to be a little bit challenging, so make sure you watch ahead before you actually start to build this page. Okay, over here, another simple four and a half by four and a half uh, gate fold, and then I have these two pockets. So they look like pockets, but truly the one on the bottom is a pocket, and this is a pass-through. So this is actually twice the length of what it appears to be a pocket, but it just passes through. So there's two inserts for journaling. And then down here, there's two more inserts for journaling or a very small photo. Okay, very traditional waterfall. The closure flap goes down and everything else goes up. These are four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So it's a perfect mat for a four by six photo. And here, um, I fussy cut around this element so that when you open it up, you can really see the shape. It's some kind of a steampunk airplane. And then here's what was cut away, and then I just put a background piece behind it. And then those two flaps open, and again, another pocket for photos, journaling. And then lastly, we've got this large pocket on the outside liner. 
And that's it. So again, this is the newest album, Stamperia Sir Vagabond Aviator Collection. Um, be sure to look at the links in the description and it should have everything you need there. Um, the next project I'm working on will be another Stamperia collection. It's uh, Cosmos Infinity. I look forward to seeing you guys here on the channel. And as always, thanks for coming to Scrap and Create.